Hot 30 countdown across the country, powered by Saturday Entertainment. Uh, we have got rock music royalty. And I, I didn't wear my underpants because I just kept on soiling them. It's the Foo Fighters! Oh my god. Oh. He's like that normally though. Nate, I don't Dave. Know what to say. Um, he's an old ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I do. And I, I, this album we got to listen to, and it was a bit odd because it was just Tim and myself and another record exec in this massive boardroom, this CD player in the corner. And it was brilliant. But you know when you get new music, you kind of scan through. You go, oh yeah, I like the style of that one, I like the style of that one. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not sure. sure, not sure. Yeah. And then you go back and you listen to it. To sit through every single song. <laughs> what do you mean we had to? Sorry, um, they, they changed um, us to the desk. So... That's unfortunate. It was we had really... to listen to our record. <laughs> it was a real chore. The whole thing, the whole thing from start to finish. Front to back. Oh, but can I just time? say, it was brilliant. Thank you. And I'm not just pissing in your pocket here. Had I been in the car and I'd been travelling somewhere, it would have just been the best type of album ever to listen to. Wow. It's just it's got Thank it's you. a journey, you know. It's rocking. I loved Musical it. Musical journey. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's got a storyline. Not really. <laughs> every song is different. There's a lot of diversity. There's yeah. some super hard rock stuff. Yeah. There's some mellow stuff. Has tender moments. It like does. A... <laughs> <laughs> That's the one sort of... thing I've noticed. Your voice has become a lot more velvety. Mm. I was going to say more. I was going to say more yeah. of a bitch That's voice, true. but anyway. No. Like, more of a huh? <laughs> more of a more of a bitch voice. A like bitch you, voice. No, no, you can, you can get up there well, now. this has been a great discussion, you guys. You had to sit through the record and you have a bitch voice. Don't get me wrong. I hope you guys play that record every day. <laughs> so what do you guys think of the album? Com compared to the previous albums. It's kind of bitchy, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'd hate to have to bitchy sit through the whole thing. thing. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of got those dual elements It's like my it. little velvet bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, the Ballad of Beaconfield's Miners, right? Obviously we're Australians and we're going to talk about this. Where was the lyric in there? Because it was an instrumental. Where was the lyric about, like, shooting in your hand while your mate's next to you and everything? I thought it was going to be like a... You should probably save that for your record, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that I do really well. <laughs> no, it was, it was great. I was expecting some sort of hardcore tribute, and it was just a really well, nice... I just wrote it the night before we played the Opera House. I knew Brent Webb was coming down with gig. Yeah. And um, so I thought that I'd just sort of pay tribute to him, and I wrote this little ditty, and then the next night played it, and then uh, we had a couple drinks, and... It sort of it, it was nice. I wanted to put it on the record for him, but also because it was sort of a nice little instrumental. I always wonder what was the process between uh, like him saying that he wanted to listen to the Fooies on an iPod to you guys actually hearing about it. Like, how, how does that kind of stuff get to the band? Well, there's this thing. Um, the internet. Yeah, yeah, and there's this stuff called email, <laughs> and it's kind of like a phone call, except it's almost quicker, and you don't have to. Yeah, okay. so this guy wrote me a letter over the interweb. And it kind of got to my house, and that might and take off back. one day. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it was a personal contact between the band and him. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, he didn't have the computer down there with them. Yeah, the wireless couldn't get down else. through the one kilometer yeah. of so, sheer rock. It's kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, well, fellas, it's been amazing. Before you nick off, because uh, you're from the states, obviously, and you're and you're ahead of all uh, all the trends. Want to take a vote off you? What should Australian kids be listening to right now? Yeah. Oh, the Constantines from Canada. Love that band. Okay. Everybody should hear band. that. I think everyone should have the new Arcade Fire record. That's a really good album, oh, too. Yeah. There you go. Night and Dave from the Fooies. No, no. We'll have to look it up. We'll have to definitely look it up. We'll yeah, lose up. the KC yeah. in the Sunshine band. <laughs> <laughs> and start well, listening to some new music. <laughs> well, uh, we'll check it out on the, um, was it Inter Interweb that you were yeah. talking about? Yeah, the Internet. Inter mm -hmm. Internet. Uh, <laughs> Dave and Nate of the Fooies, thanks for dropping in the lot, 30. Thank you. Thanks for having me.